Premiere Pro allows us to work with multiple angles to create a multi-camera source sequence. Let's see this workflow in action. To follow along with what I'm about to show you, download the project file and sample clips that accompany this tutorial. Right now, I have my bin open up with the four clips, and this is a music video shoot that was shot with multiple angles. On each of the cameras, the audio was recorded, which I'm going to use to drive the synchronization of the multi-camera source sequence. I'm going to double click the camera one to load it into the source monitor so that we can preview it. So I'll double click. I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning of the clip and hit the space bar to play back. I'll stop playback. Now I'll double click camera two to load it into the source monitor. Let me move to the beginning with a shortcut key this time, function left arrow on my Mac or home on an extended keyboard, and I'll play back. So we can see that the audio is the same on the first two clips, but it also is the same for camera three and four. In the project panel, I'm gonna click in a gray area and hit control A on a PC or command A on a Mac to select all of the clips. By control clicking one of the clips, I'll get a contextual menu where I'll choose to create a multi-camera source sequence. A dialog box appears, naming your multi-camera source sequence multi-cam. The multi-camera clip needs a synchronization point. We can use either in points, out points, or time code to drive synchronization. We're gonna use audio on track channel two, and all of these clips after are gonna be moved into a new bin called processed. Once I click okay, We'll see all of these clips moved into a processed bin. You can see the four items down here. And here we have our multi-camera source sequence. I'm gonna select this clip and drag it onto the new item icon to create a new sequence from it. Inside the sequence, I'll hit the backslash key in order to fit the clip to the window. But as you can see, I can only see one of the angles. In order to see multiple angles, I'm gonna to go to my settings menu, identified by the wrench icon, and choose to move from composite video over to multi-camera. If we take a look, now we see the camera one and camera three, and this is because camera two and four started at a later frame. If I hit the right arrow key, we can see that. Let me move my playhead back to the beginning of the sequence. From the settings menu, first of all, note that multi-camera audio does not follow the video, which is exactly what we want in this case, meaning that the audio will remain on the camera one track. Next, we also have the ability to edit cameras. You can see that we can switch camera order. I'll take camera four and drag it in between camera two and three. Since this is not what I want, I can hit cancel to undo that command. In order to start cutting in my multi-camera clip, I'm going to use shortcut keys. So the one, two, three, and four, whether on a laptop or an extended keyboard, will cut between each of your angles. To start cutting your multi-camera clip, move your playhead to the beginning of the sequence, and let's hit the space bar to play back. I'll hit the four key. Notice how this follows. I'll hit three, followed by two, and one. I'll jump back to four, followed by two, now three. And when I hit the space bar, your multi-camera clip has be become a bunch of editing decisions on the timeline. If I move my playhead over one of the cuts, I'll hit the equal key to zoom in on the timeline. I can use minus to zoom out. But you can see on the clip that it actually displays which camera you cut to. Once you finish your multi-camera clip, you can hit Control A or Command A on a Mac to select everything and Control click to choose multi-camera flatten to make them into individual editing decisions that you can further refine. And that's how we work with multi-camera clips in Premiere Pro.